Hi, my name is Brett Smelger with Modern Pullman. I am the owner of the company and we do bus conversions and schoolie conversions. So we are gonna do a tour of the schoolie that we have just converted. And it does keep coming back every now and then for upgrades and to finish other parts of it that we just haven't had time to finish. So we're both actors and uh, we spend most of our time on the road where we are usually given a hotel room and a trailer when we're on set and we were never in our apartment and one day we wondered why we weren't just combining all of those things. <laughs> so we bought a bus without thinking it through and tore everything out of it and eventually <laughs> came to Brett. <laughs> so when we got the bus, it looked like this. Pretty much your average school bus. We single-handedly, or I guess I should say with the help of Shear's friend, Todd from Black Motorcycles, uh, we stripped about two tons of metal from this bus. It was actually a handicapped bus, so we had to remove a lift. Uh, I almost lost my arm during that escapade, but that's for another story. All right, so this is what the bus looks like now. So I'm prior army, so it was very important to be off-grid, away from people, where I could just disappear into the woods, and I wasn't quite sure how to make that happen. So we put 1,700 watts of solar on the top, 1,000 amp hours of battery, and 3,000 watt inverter. Should be enough, right? No. <laughs> strict rule for working with Brett was we want as little plastics as possible and preferably none. So metal, wood, and begrudgingly... <laughs> Brett's favorite part of the bus Brett's that he favorite. did. <laughs> Out of Sheep, all the things. Yeah, sheep's wool <laughs> insulation. He, uh, he, he'll he tell you how much he loved installing it. Yeah, it smells like a farm afterward. As you can see here, we both sleep on the floor. Because our bed is able to fold up into a couch, we have a ton of extra space and working from home and home being life on the road, it was vital that we could convert our room at will. It can go from being our bedroom to our dining room, to our audition room, to our taping studio, to even our makeup trailer where you can see my wife putting on mascara. All right, so as far as storing things in the bus, we had about 10 guitars between us in the apartment, which we whittled down to about six, plus shooting equipment, everything. So Rhett lowered the front so it was like an actual car. And this is all storage for big stuff. And then I'm a girl, I have many clues, and this is a bigger closet, it's a five foot closet, which is bigger than any closet I've ever had in New York City, which was delightful. Plus, Brett welded a big chest down here where I could put lots of shoes. So as you see, this pantry Brett made for us using expanded metal. We were playing Far Cry during the <laughs> pandemic about 10 years late, but we fell in love with some of the aesthetics of some of the prison cams. So this is <laughs> our pantry weirdly and I swear we're not crazy <laughs> but we wanted a prison type situation for our food so it couldn't escape when we were driving it makes sense <laughs> and before the shelves were in I tried trapping them in there <laughs> yeah it only took me 48 hours to get out so I cook a lot and one big thing that I wanted in the bus was this 36 spice rack, which I use and didn't want to break. So there are cushions in the back of it. We kind of rearranged all of the walls so it could be here. And, uh, and I wanted a real stove. It's a gas stove. It's hooked up to the propane. There's a broiler, there's an oven, there's a uh, four burners. It's about four inches littler than a regular stove. Yeah. Of course, we have an energy saving fridge. It's about three fourths of an actual fridge. Uh, for two people and a dog, it's pretty efficient. I'm a Puerto Rican 
and we have a koi dog that's a coyote husky mix so me and her get absolutely hot during the summer what can you tell us about this so this is a Coleman uh, AC unit is a 13.5 BTU um, we went back and forth on whether to do a mini split or this but they wanted to put a ladder and a roof deck up top so therefore we went with the rooftop AC unit you've seen the pirate ship now come check out the poop deck we ended up with a propane incinerating toilet because they did not want to deal with the black tanks and having to worry about where to dump and everything so when you go to the bathroom, it drops down below and then it kicks on the flame and burns everything in and it creates an ash. And then you take the ash and you can throw it in the trash or you can use it for fertilizer. It's entirely up to you. The future. So my husband is Puerto Rican and very hot blooded. I am Russian and the opposite of that, I am cold blooded and furious. And my favorite activity in New York was sitting in the Russian baths for seven hours a day in 200 degrees at a time. And while we were building this, we were sitting in a cab and the driver told us that in Scandinavia, they have mobile saunas. And we called Brett very excitedly and said that we wanted one in the bus. And I think then you asked if we were serious. Yeah. <laughs> and we were, and Brett made it happen. And that's what this is. Welcome to our sauna, where we're already schwitzing. <laughs> we are currently sitting on our sauna bench, which Brett came up with the genius idea. We didn't plan for space. We planned for space, but not space for some of the machinery, you know, like a water heater, or a water pump, things like that. And we were very deterred that we'd have to lose some space in our living quarters. But uh, Brett, tell us, tell us the idea you had. I thought it was awesome. So we have 120 gallons of fresh water that's underneath the bus, 30 gallons of gray water for them to shower and it goes in and stored until they can get somewhere to dump the uh, wastewater that they do make when they take showers. Um, water heater is a on-demand water heater so they don't waste as much water or energy to cool. So it's a propane water heater. It's all cedar inside here and all one inch tiles on the back wall on the floor that were fun to put in on here <laughs> <laughs> well yeah that's another thing brett had a blast doing <laughs> and we also went from they wanted the toilet in here <laughs> and that was quickly diverted and that is how they ended up with a separate room for the toilet <laughs> and closet space that now they are grateful for <laughs> that they have their dungeon cage and prison too <laughs> and then he added and by the way your incinerator toilet will melt <laughs> <laughs> while it is next to the fireplace for the sauna oh yes we have a fireplace in here so yeah that that wouldn't quite work so not only is brett our contractor he's also our hero yeah but what we did do that i you know a lot of uh, rvs I've seen, I've seen RVs with multiple sinks, which I always thought was strange because it's a very small space. And we don't actually have a sink. We have this basin here. And this is just kind of the overall wet room. We sauna here, we shower here, we do our dishes. It's excellent. I feel my like laundry. my ancestors and I'm bringing my, my dishes to the Nile to wash them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a clothesline. It's a hotel clothesline for laundry. <laughs> A little thermostat so we know when to stop heating this place up after <laughs> all you know <laughs> even a sauna can get too hot well that about sums up your tour of our schoolie house brought to you by Brett Schmelzer at Modern Pullman. We hoped you liked it, and we are very excited to have you out of our house. See you guys. And feel free to give us a call or write us an email uh, if you have any questions or need help with your schoolie conversions. Uh, and check out the website at modernpullman.com. <laughs>